I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about coupons that a seller can use in the 3B Street system. First of all, coupons are really beneficial because the seller can create it and create your own coupon code to provide to whichever clients you'd like. Uh, it can be existing customers, it can be wholesale retailers, you can provide coupons uh, for friends and family, um, maybe market day specials, holiday specials, um, things like that. So it's really beneficial and it'll be something that the customer can enter at checkout. And on top of that, it is actually for the whole order and not a per product basis. If you actually want to mark a product uh, discounted, then I, I would recommend uh, entering a sale item for that individual product. So keep in mind that coupons are for the entire order. So to begin, you're just going to go ahead and log into your store. Right now I've got Simply Styled open, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then there's a coupon menu over here, so I'm going to select that right now. I've already entered one, so we're going to add a new one here. And I'm going to create this coupon uh, just as an example to be something such as uh, buy five, get 10% off. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and name my coupon um, five for 10%. And the description, you don't have to enter it, but I, just so I remember later on, I'm going to say uh, buy five, receive, did I spell that right? 10% off. For the coupon code, I'm going to just name it 510. And keep in mind, too, that coupon codes are case sensitive, so make sure that when you communicate it to a customer that it is written out exactly how you need it to be. Uh, one way to, to notify your customers of coupon codes is through emails, on social media, you know, any of your followers that you have. Uh, you can print it on brochures and give it out, um, you know, maybe even just pin it, print it out on a flyer and give it out at, at certain markets or something like that. So those are just some examples of ways that you can communicate these coupon codes to uh, people that you know. So as you can see, the coupon value right here, you can either select a percent or a dollar amount. Um, and you can see that this field changes right here based on what you select. So in this instance, I'm going to go ahead and do a percent. So I'm going to say 10%. Now minimum order is actually going to be a dollar amount. You can see the dollar amount here. And since my headbands are $14 each, uh, if somebody orders five of them, I'm going to go ahead and enter a minimum order of $70 because that means that um, somebody has to have an, a minimum of $70 in their cart uh, before uh, they'll, they'll be able to receive the discount. Uh, if you want to go ahead and add a redemption limit, um, in this instance, I don't want to do that. But for example, if you want to say uh, the first 100 customers receive $20 off, uh, that would be an example of, of a redemption limit that you would use. And uh, the system will track it for you so that every time it gets redeemed, it'll keep... Um, going down until until every coupon has been re redeemed. So it just gives consumers a little incentive. And then you can select the date so you don't have to remember. So say you want, you want a coupon to only be through the end of the year or through um, Black Friday or something like that. Um, you can always enter dates and then make sure that you keep it active. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the date to be sometime in January. We'll just set it for January 1st for now. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and select active and save. And then once it saves, you'll see that it populates right here. So you can see the name five for 10. You can see my coupon code, the value of the discount, uh, the redemption since I didn't enter any redemptions right here. And then you can see the, the start and end date and that it's active. So I've already put some items in the shopping cart. So I'll show you what it looks like to a customer. So right here, I've got one item here and four here for a total of five items. But actually, it's really based on the minimum um, dollar amount, not the actual items. But in my system, it works because um, that's, that's what my headbands cost. So anyways, the user can go ahead and enter five, ten, exactly as I've, I've inputted in the system, and select Apply. And then you'll see that a discount line will appear, and it should be $7 off. So you can see that it discounts, coupon discount $7 off, and it says you received a 10% discount up here so that the consumer knows, and then they can just go ahead and proceed to checkout. Uh, taxes will be determined on the next page depending on how you have your tax structure set up within your store. Um, but basically that's how it works. So it just reduces a discount, gives incentives for the customer, and hopefully increases your sales. Let us know if you have any questions. You can always contact us at support at 3bstreet.com and uh, hope you can use this to your advantage. Thank you.